वेलकम टू ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ साइंस पार्क सावित्रीबाई फुले पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी टूडेज लेसन इज फॉर स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स इट इज ऑन डायवर्सिटी इन लिविंग थिंग्स एंड देर क्लासिफिकेशन चैप्टर थ्री इन दिस लेसन वी विल लर्न डायवर्सिटी इन प्लांट्स एंड देर क्लासिफिकेशन इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट एंड इन द सेकेंड पार्ट वी विल सी प्लांट स्ट्रक्चर इन डिटेल and animal diversity and animal classification chapter covers in this session from ssc board chapter 3 diversity in living things and their classification and from cbsc board chapter 7 getting to know plants why we classify plants do you know how many plants are there total on the earth there are 3.5 lakhs of plants on the earth earth some are very small like grasses while others are very tall trees big trees with thick canopy like neem tree banyan tree some plants grow in water some plants grow in desert like cactus in addition some same plant have many varieties like mango you know many varieties of mango is do you know then there are many varieties of rice wheat etc so such a big variety among plants and such a large number i am confused what to do but don't get confused classification will help you here thus classification is necessary to avoid the confusion we initially do the classification or classify plants into different categories like we take the characteristics or we take the criteria as their height and size and shape their habitats their flowering patterns etc thus we will classify plants basically according to their size and shape their flowering patterns then depending on their life span and finally depending on the their habitat where do they grow let us see the first type classification according to size and shape here we have three types of plants first is herbs the second is shrub and third is big trees here we will see herbs herbs are plants with non woody green and flexible stem these plants grow one, from 1 to 1.5 meters in height they have short life span that is few months to 2 years that means they complete their life cycle in that much period for example coriander plant has a life of 6 to 8 weeks only while that of rice plant is 3 to 4 months these herbs are mainly used as food and as medicine if you look at the examples shown in this slide you will realize this coriander mint rice and grass these are the examples climbers and creepers are plants with green flexible and non woody stem and they are also included in herbs climbers like money plant need vertical support and it climbs along with it with the help of its aerial roots creepers use the spring like parts that is tendril to hold the support and grow you can see this in cucumber and pumpkin so these are also included in the category herb the third type is tree trees are tall with hard strong and woody stems and they are normally with a thick canopy they are they have branches at some height above the ground and they live for many years so they are perennials the examples of trees are also very common you find them everywhere tamarind palash neem banyan tree etc in this way we have classified plants according to the first criteria that is their 
size and shape these types are herb shrub and tree you can easily note down the difference in their size and shape in this slide now coming to the second criteria that is flowering pattern we will classify most of the plants depending on this criteria look at this slide can you recognize few of them yes you know the mushrooms you also must have seen fern in the garden the red color mushroom is a non edible and could be a poisonous mushroom this is known as toadstool all these three in fact all these which are shown in here in the slide they do not produce flowers they are non flowering plants so how do they reproduce they have some another way of reproduction what is that if you look at the uh, if you look at the lower side of the mushroom you can find some black spores even these type of spores black color dots are present below the or at the back side of the leaves of the fern mature leaves of the fern they reproduce with the help of these spores money plant can grow from a cutting of any portion of the uh, branch of its branch the last is green color picture that is algae which is present or grows in water it multiplies by binary fission so that is the vegetative type of reproduction seen in mushroom and uh, sorry money plant and algae you can see here flower bearing plants or flowering plants what is the role of flower it is an important organ for reproduction of the plants because from flower we get fruit and in the fruit we get seeds these seeds germinate and produce new new plants that is the way plants reproduce this slide shows quite common flowers that is hibiscus rose jasmine and tuberose have you some sometimes noticed that some plants have very short life they we have to that's why we have to plant them often quite often every year while as some plants are there for many years and we don't have to plant them again and again so let us come to the next criteria that is their life span so we divide or we categorize the plants depending on how long they live the first is annuals that is life cycle is completed in one growing season these plants are called as annuals and the examples are rice pea wheat beans marigold every year we have to plant them or every year we have to sow the seeds because they have to complete or they complete their life cycle in a, in one season here are some plants they are known as biennials by bi is two so the life cycle of these plants is completed in two years when we say life span it means from germination of seed then growing the plant then again flowers then fruits and again to the then production of seeds so this all these stages are included in a life cycle so in case of plants like carrot and cabbage this life cycle is completed in 2 years so they are called as biennials perennials that means the plants they live for several years we have seen that big trees like mango tamarind and also shrubs like oleander that is kanel and hibiscus they live for several years and bear flowers and fruits so they are known as perennials we will come to the next criteria as we have discussed that is the habitat so we will classify plants according to the habitats land plants desert plants and water plants because plants are present in various places at various places 
so land plants are known as mesophytes desert plants are known as xerophytes and aquatic plants or water plants are known as hydrophytes so land desert and water are their habitats these plants have to adapt according to the conditions of their habitat the water plants or aquatic plants have very small or poorly developed root system while in case of xerophytes there is shortage of water and so the roots are deep the roots have to go deep in search of water so they have a very well developed root system the leaves of xerophytes are very small thin or in because they want to save water and they want to avoid the evaporation their stems stems of xerophytic plants are thick green and they store water here you can see an epiphyte growing on a big tree this epiphyte is not dependent for uh, for the food on this big tree and it just takes a support examples of such epiphytic plants are moss and orchids homework questions actually this is a interesting activity for you what you have to do is you have to go to any balcony terrace or any garden and take a notebook and pen with you and make the following observations of at least 10 plants what you see there so you see many plants and so measure the height then stem girth and stem texture in case of big trees what are what type of the leaves are there flowers fruits and what are the uses then you can for these observations you can take help of your textbook page number 20 table or you can make your own table according to your imagination now based on your observations and these tables you will classify the plants as herbs shrub and trees creepers and climbers that's all whatever we have seen or whatever we have learned so start